Scientists believe that these jaws and teeth fossils could suggest that a second human ancestor lived alongside Lucy. The fossils were discovered four years ago in northern Ethiopia's Afar region, about 50 kilometers from where Lucy was found. The jaw and teeth fragments are said to date back to between three and three and a half million years ago. The genus name Australopithecus is an old genus name which includes that of Lucy. We named the newly discovered species as Australopithecus diaramenda. We took the word diaramenda from two Afar languages for two reasons. First, because it was discovered in Afar region. Second, the people of Afar helped contribute to this discovery. The species, named Australopithecus debrimeda, combined ape-like and human-like traits, as did Lucy species Australopithecus afarensis. But scientists say it was sufficiently different to warrant recognition as a separate species. But whether or not they are, the fact, according to Johannes, is that such discoveries being made in Ethiopia means a lot for the country. <laughs> Whenever new species are discovered in Ethiopia, the discovery has a major impact in building a positive image about the country, beyond confirming the country is indeed the cradle of mankind and confirming the role the country plays in the study of human origin. We are pleased in this regard. The discovery helps us work harder in building our country's image in addition to advancing the science. However, despite the discovery, some scientists are skeptical about whether the anatomical variation between the two species is normal. Researchers say the two species could have been able to live side by side because they might not have directly competed for food, shelter or territory, but no solid conclusions have been made. Leslie Mirungu, CCTV.